What's up, guys? I'm back on Atlas. We're on the island we left off of. On? Huh? S words? We're, we're on the island we were at on the last episode. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, but we're at the other end of it. I've just come to the other end, found this nice flat um, peninsula here, and I've got a little starter hut. Not done it in a video because it's just a boring little house. Look at it. Just a boring, boring little starter hut. So, um, I did record it, but I thought it was kind of pointless. So, I just. Yeah, we'll just leave that. We'll skip to the next bit. Um, look, it's just a just a square little house with a roof on. Oh yeah, got a few bits and pieces in it just to get set up, store some things, um, and we can make something nice once we've got a schooner, which is what we're going to do. We're going to build a schooner. I want to get the schooner because it's a great ship. I've said it before, it's um, a shame they put a gold price on it on the official game because I think they should get people on a schooner as soon as they can because it shows off Atlas in a really good light, in my opinion. So it's, it's a great little ship, nice and quick. It's not super overpowered, but I guess it is kind of strong. But um, it's not massive, you can't get loads of animals on it and things like that. And even if you could, it don't matter. Once you've got a schooner, obviously you want a brigantine. Once you've got a brigantine, you want a galleon. So, I don't think it would have affected things leaving the schooner for free, but let's not go off on one about that right now. Um, yeah, going to get the schooner, going to build an exploring schooner, a starter schooner, whatever you want to call it, um, an exploring schooner. Um, we will go and use that to get some tames. We will go and meet up with Rad Dude, who's on the server. I think I mentioned that in the other episode, maybe. Maybe I didn't, I don't know, but Rad Dude's on the server now. The Dude of Radness is here. Um, he's up north somewhere. Don't know how much he's going to be playing it, because Diablo 2's just dropped, and um, yeah, we're all sort of playing that, but... Um, yeah, we're going to hook up with him, hopefully. A few of the other people that are on the server, that are on the Discord channel. Um, but yeah, we want a schooner, because we can get around the map quicker and do all that stuff. So that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on and get some more stuff farmed, as always, as I start recording. It's become night time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some stuff farmed up, and we'll start building a schooner. Okay, guys, so um, I've got a fair bit of wood collected. I've not got enough yet, but we've got um, a fair amount there. Um, still work on the fibre and stuff. Um, yeah, I turned the music on because I thought it would be cool. Now I'm kind of regretting it. That was quite loud. <laughs> um, yeah, we started getting some of the stuff farmed up. Like you see, we got a fair bit of, um, a fair bit of wood and a nice chunk of thatch. Plenty more to go, though. And, um, yeah, you can see there that massive hole I've chopped in the middle of the uh, little bit of woodland that was there. Um, and I keep running past all these pigs and stuff, and I'm thinking, do you know what? I don't normally do this, and it might be worth doing. Actually taming some pigs just to carry stuff. Um, I've never really done it, so I don't know how much their weight goes up. And normally when I get pigs, it's just to make them into poop machines, you know. Um, so I don't really care about their stats. I just give them health normally. Or um, food. Can you put the food stat? I think I used to. Um, anyway, whatever. I didn't really care about the stats. That's my point. So I'm wondering if we tame a couple here, we can um, stack them up in weight and use them just to carry stuff. They're not going to be excellent. They're going to be slow, but that's cool. I'm not riding anything. I'm just running. They'll be able to keep up with me running back. Plus, I'll be overburdened most likely, or almost overburdened. So, um, yeah, why not? And they're a passive tame, so they're nice and easy to tame. What have we got? A level 5. A level 4. There's an alpha pig running around somewhere. I'm going to try and pen him up at some point. But, um, yeah, let's just, let's just feed the piggies. Try and do them both together. Should be able to. Shouldn't wander too far apart. But let's see if this makes difference, if it's worth doing. It's only going to take a couple of minutes to tame these up. Obviously, they might be a bit pants to start with. Pants? I haven't said that for a while. God damn, that's an old word, isn't it? Pants. Um, might be a bit crap. <laughs> but once we've leveled them up a bit and we've got a few stats in them, you know, they should be quite useful. Plus, later on, uh, we can retire them into a little pen and we can just turn them into poop machines. Uh, for the garden and stuff, so it's all good. They're going to be helpful animals to have around. Anyway, I'll get these tamed up and uh, we'll see how they do. Okay, so this is now turned into um, a bleep test or a fitness test. I don't know what you might call it in America. 
Uh, basically, in the UK, when we're at school, sometimes, and I guess we do it in, people do it in personal training and stuff, personal training, whatever, in fitness, the bleep test, you've got a little machine that bleeps, and every time and then you run, and then you've got to get to the, you know, the the marker before the bleep goes off, and you got to, and the bleeps get closer and closer together, um, so you have to run faster and faster. And uh, that's what these pigs are doing to me, except they're getting further away, and they're making me run further between each thing. And um, now, every time I get there, they're ready to be fed. So, um, oh, as I said, that, that one was one second off. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's alright, though. It's making it a bit more interesting than just standing around waiting, I'll be honest. The one thing I, I just remembered while I was sat here doing this was um, the mighty Crimson Crew. The legendary Crimson Crew from the uh, Atlas PVE server, the EU one. Um... They tried to use guard pigs, <laughs> and apparently they were really, really strong. So yeah, you can use the pigs as guard pigs. Uh, apparently they're really good at fighting off cobras and stuff. If you're in a cobra-infested sort of area, if you get a nice pack of pigs, apparently they're pretty strong. So it might be worth playing around with that if, you, um, if you're if you doing something like this right now. Uh, getting a few pigs together. And I think as I see a few more, if I'm not in too much of a hurry to be doing stuff, I'll just keep taming them, get a nice pack of pigs, why not? There's some food for thought there. Literally food for thought, because they're bacon after all. Um, yeah. Guard pigs. Right, okay. Let's have a look. So, their weight's really low to start with. They are quite low level, so they're not going to be blindingly good stats anyway. 190, yeah, so 190 must be the base. Wait, look, 190. Um, I don't know where their stats went. Maybe it was like an even spread. Because uh, despite the level differences, they've got quite similar stats there. There we go, we've already got some poo. Right, so we're going to have to get uh, a couple of levels on them. But even with that 190, they've both got an extra, say, 200 weight, which is... 200 more than what I've got, isn't it? So, um, yeah, that should be helpful. Um, my axe is broke, I just realised, so we'll just go and get a load of thatch or whatever we can gather with the pickaxe now. Obviously, it mainly gets thatch, but um, yeah, you get a little bit of wood with it. Um, so we'll do that until my pickaxe breaks, and then we'll go and fix the hatchet, and then we'll try and see how much wood we can get with them. Oh, and if you didn't know, you can ride a pig and you don't need a saddle. So, there. Yeah, there is that as well. <laughs> right, okay, the pack's got bigger. We've got another two pigs. They're all loaded up. They seem to be walking normally now, which is pretty good. And they've all got about 200 weight. None of them rolled any extra around like 190 to 200. Um, one of them has rolled 131 damage, though, which is pretty cool. That's this guy here. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, so, basically, with my inventory, it's like having three inventories. Although they can't quite carry as much as what I can. Um, but still, it's it's very nearly that sort of addition. And uh, they're super easy to tame. Passive tames. And obviously, they're you know fresh as well. So, they do need a lot of levels in them. And they're low level. So, obviously, the weight's not great right now. But that's a massive help straight off the bat. I don't know why I've never thought of doing that before, to be honest. Um, and like I said, apparently they're pretty good as guard dogs, essentially. Shouldn't be much longer until ready to start building the ship, hopefully. Okay, so do you know what? Actually, with them four... Um, so when I got the other two, and when I started taming them, I had about half the wood and maybe a quarter of the thatch. Um, with two runs with the four pigs and obviously my own inventory, um, I got the rest of the wood, so just over half the wood I need, and basically three quarters of the thatch I required. The only thing I got to get now is the fibre, and if you don't know the resource cost of a um, of a ship that you're trying to build, just go on Google and type in like obviously I'm building a schooner, so just go on Atlas and put in Atlas schooner wiki. It will take you to the Atlas Wiki page, and on there it will show you the amount of resources you need to build each ship. Just saves you keep having to check the uh, the uh, shipyard or whatever. So I'll pop that um, on screen for you now anyway. 
But um, yeah, that's actually worked out really well. It saved me loads of time, even though it took me a bit of time to tame the four pigs. It took me a lot less time than it would have if I'd just carried on farm on my, on my own. So um, yeah, really happy with that. Right, okay guys, I think I'm just about ready to uh, crack on with this schooner. I think I've got everything crafted that I need, including some of the custom sails available on this server. Some uh, schmetterling sails, I don't know what the translation that is. I, well, maybe they are actually called schmetterling sails, or have you pronounced that. Um, but they're a hybrid sail between weight handling and speed. And um, yeah, I like the sound of them. They look pretty cool in the icon in the picture on there so yeah hope they're gonna look good on the ship i've not actually seen them in person um but yeah we've got everything we need including all the components to build the cabin and stuff like that um i'll pop up on screen the required uh materials and parts for the build i'm about to do but i've got everything to go so i'm gonna crack on and get this built we're just gonna build the normal schooner like i said the other day there is a mahogany schooner available for um that requires radioactive coins not too sure what that's going to look like we'll get to see that at some point and there's the dao dahu dahao uh, i don't know how to pronounce that either um, but another little type of speedy ship there but we're just going to build a normal schooner boom and um yeah we're going to go ahead by and get started bloody hell words are hard um, and by getting the first deck in at the bottom there, an open deck at the top. Um, now, when I tested this build on single player, um, I actually built it from here. But I got a feeling it would be the same as if I'd done it from there. Let's try it. I think this this will work. I think. If it does, it should be like that. Like that. Up there. And we could do this any way you, you want to do it. I'm just doing this because I'm trying to remember off my memory the design. I know if I do this, the measurement should work out, even though it might look a bit strange the way I'm doing this. And then that should go like that. And then this should go there. Yeah, I think that's right. And then we should be able to... that and then if I've done this right if I just grab two of them yeah yeah this is what I was going for and then um, yeah that should work right okay cool can I pick these up yeah, okay, good, good, good. I'm going to get these walls in before we do anything else. Uh, this server's actually got clippable walls available. I've not used them, so I've had to take the planks back out. But, um, yeah, I guess you would be able to do this without taking the planks out if you wanted to. But, you know, it's a habit at this point. Um, oh, actually, I want this one... that one to be windows just you don't have to do that again like when I'm doing stuff like this guys you can interpret things how you want you know I'm just showing you a layout I've come up with um, I'll explain why I've done a certain part of it we've not got to as we get there that doesn't even make sense because you don't know what I'm about but um, <laughs> you'll see what I mean in a little while um, but yeah when I'm doing stuff guys you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing you can use windows all the way around if you want to you can have it not having windows you can have these walls the other way around this is just what I've done you can do whatever the hell you want if you want to follow this build you can put your own little twist on it but um, yeah I'm throwing in a couple of windows just there and we're having all the decorative parts of the walls facing inwards because I think and it gives a nice flush finish on the outside, which I didn't used to be keen on, but I actually quite like it at the moment. So um, that's what we're going for. That should be them walls, and then we should be able to snap down a door in here. Tell I'll put the windows in first just to make sure it all lines up. Oh, I'm 
past that thing. Yeah, that's lined up, so we get the wall. That should snap in there, lovely. Nice, and then we are going to have one seat in there. Them stairs there. So now... That used a ceiling, but I don't know where it went. Where the hell did that go? Huh, that's annoying. Where the hell did that go? Boom, there we go. So yeah, the reason I've done this, guys, is because right now... You don't seem to be able to use catwalks on official or on here. Um, I think it was some sort of PvP fix. So yeah, now we don't have the catwalk. I still wanted to have some sort of an open deck just because I like the look of it. I think it saves a little bit of weight. Not much, but a little bit. Don't save that much because I end up putting railings around everything. But um, that's personal preference. Um, but yeah, this is what I decided to do. Just have a walkway on one side. And um, that should work fine. Although I've just buggered that up, I think, because I'm um, going to need to put the sails in. So yeah, before I do anything else, guys, before I make too much issues for myself later in the line, I'm going to put the sails in. Um, I've done it like this because I already know where the sails are going, and I know that they snap in, you know, with the build in the state that it currently is, so... <laughs> well, at least it did when I try tried it on single player and creative. So, um, yeah, go ahead and snap this in. This one should just... Go there, but okay, it might want me to do this then, so just demolish that. So I'm still gonna do it on the way I tested it, um, but I used the hand. I was using handling sails on my original build, but yeah, these sails look much different. Okay, let me see if I can get this one. So the problem with it being there will be it's gonna block two of the cannons. I mean, maybe we could put it there, do something different with them stairs. Um, what does the small sail look like? Oh man. <laughs> Joe, we're just going to go with the way I tested it because that's going to obviously make the build work properly. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the small one up the front there. Or at the back, sorry. And we're going to put this one up here. Should be able to snap them back in now, like so. Now... As you know, guys, I normally like to do things for how I prefer the look to be. But um, I'm trying to compromise a bit more now. I want to get practicality with a nice look to it. So, unfortunately, I am going to have to have the stupidly large sail at the front, which I wouldn't normally do. I'd rather it was where that small one was. But if I put the big one where that small one was, you're not going to be able to get in out this door. I want that door there because I want to be able to take this through the PvP region. I don't want to have an open area for you know make it easy for people to access my little cabin once it's in um so i want that door there if i have the large sail there we're not gonna be able to use the door the only way to do it would be to take this door out and you could walk around the sail but um i don't know if i want to do that so yeah that's why i'm doing it there the only other thing you could do would be to completely redesign this back end but i like the back end and obviously i'm trying to do a build that i've you know, I've just designed recently, so we're just going to go with it. Like I said earlier, you can play around with this, you can just take the ideas or whatever you want to do. Uh, this is just my little exploring slash starting schooner design that I've come up with. So, um, yeah, it's not going to look ideal. That sail is going to annoy me, but we, I'm going to live with it. I'm going to make do, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to crack on with it. Right, what I'm going to do is start this now. Um, if you don't want to use railings, you know, I know some people like to say, wait and not use railings. That is perfectly fine. Um, if you want to have the rear facing cannons that, I'm, cannons that I'm about to put on, then you are going to have to put either a railing on each side here or a half wall, whatever you want. But it needs to be a half size wall. Um, I'm just going to go with the railings because it's going to match the rest of the railings we're going to have up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a triangle on there and a triangle on there. And then we're going to put a half stair just there like that. Hopefully that's going to let me put a railing down still. Yeah, that is. Okay. So now 
I know that looks ridiculous, guys, um, but you can get a cannon on here. And if you place it just right, your NPC will be able to move it around, or even you can move it around. So um, this will work. I've already tested it. So, yeah, that's what these little mounts are for. I don't want completely rear-facing cannons. Um, I really enjoy the broadside gameplay, and... I just feel like the rear phase and cannons are a bit cheatsy, but I will say ships um, like these style of ships from like the, um, what have been like the 17th century, 18th century, whatever, 15th century, um, you know, they would have had chase cannons and forward phase and cannons, rear phase and cannons, whatever. So, um, but it wouldn't have been like a whole cannonade like we do see on Atlas sometimes. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just wanted to use the gun ports and stuff, so that's what we're doing. And the reason I got two at the back is because we're only going to use eight in the middle. We're going to use four each side instead of five each side uh, to save on a little bit of weight. And um, I don't want cannons in this cabin, and the last two cannons would be just in these walls here. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, I just need to get the planks now. Right. So I will put the gun ports in first. So if you see here, look, this last one would be just inside the cabin. I just don't want it in there. Um, I want to have that little bit of room for storage and stuff, and I want it to be a little bit secure. So that's why we're having four each side. Let's go ahead and put the four on this side. And now we will go ahead and put these planks in. And um, if you're doing what I've done here, where I've made, I've got exactly or almost exactly enough resources to do this build, make sure when you're putting these planks on that you don't snap over the gun port, otherwise you're going to cost yourself a little bit more grinding. So just take your time and make sure they're snapping where you actually want them and not over your gun ports. Or if you're doing your gun port, secondly. Uh, make sure you're not snapping your gun port, uh, your planks, uh, your gun port over your plank. Sorry, it's getting dark. Um, I ain't got much time to wait for it to be daytime again. So hopefully this works. Um, so yeah, we've got the other ramp. There we go. And I'll put the rest of the railings up here. Now I haven't got any cannons yet, and I'm not going to get any just, just yet. But um, I'm just getting everything in place for them because, like I said, this is going to have cannons. Again, you don't have to put the railings on. I love the railings. I just think they add a little bit to the ship as far as looks go. I just like them, you know. It's just a thing I like. So that's why I do it. Again, you don't have to do it. And yes, I know it adds unnecessarily, unnecessary weight for PvP. But I like them. Right. Go ahead and get the steering wheel in. Now... I don't know how many people know this, but um, it was in the patch notes quite a while ago now, that you can now enclose a steering wheel and you can have third person um, still. And I have tested it. So my idea with the steering wheel being up here, because like I said, there is PvP regions on this server and I am expecting to go into them at some point. Obviously, I'm going to try and avoid them with this ship. It's my starter ship. It, you know, I'm going to want to do the PvP stuff later on. But occasionally you might have to wander through there. So hence why I said about the door down below, wanting to make sure that I had a door up here, which I've just realised I haven't put in. Let me just do that before I forget. How? Um, this door down here, um, I want that to be nice and secure, so I want a door on there, nice, like locked up to make it a little bit more difficult for anyone to get in if I, for some reason, leave my ship in a PvP area. Um, I didn't want it just open, which would be the way we could work around having that mast back here. Um, if that was open, you'd just be able to run around it and get out. With that door, although you'd think you can, this little bit of wood here would stop you doing it, I think, because of how big that mast is. But going back to this, so you can enclose this. So if I go into a PvP region, I'm going to sell for it. I'm just going to box myself in, basically. I'll just put a wall up there, a wall up there, a ceiling above me, and a wall behind me there. Um, so I can get in and out nice and easily. Um, but also, I will still be able to get this view. Uh, last thing to add is the diving attachment. I should have added this earlier, but I completely forgot. As you can see, it's red there, but if you put it on the other side, 
It goes blue. It's because of these railings, so you need to demolish all of these. Again, railings are just something I like to have. You don't have to have these. As long as you clear everything in front of it, that will go straight in. And we can just replace these railings. Oh, actually, I've got some spare walls on me. That is really, really helpful. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Lick of paint. Yeah, she's ready to go exploring. And there we go, guys. Ship completed. Gone with a black and red colour scheme. I think it looks pretty cool. And um, I really like the look of these new sails. I can't wait to open them up. Again, like I said earlier in the video, I do wish I could have put the large um, sail at the back and the small one at the front. But because of the design I've gone with and I didn't want to change the design, um, we've gone that way around. And if you didn't see that part earlier, the reason for that was um, when I designed this build, I did it with uh, handling sails. So with the large handle at the front and little handle at the back, I thought it looked pretty cool still. Um, but this way around, it doesn't look so good. But you can do what you want with this, guys. Like I said, you can change things, just take ideas, whatever. This is what I've gone with. And um, I'm pretty happy with it other than the sails looking a bit weird. But I do like these sails. Anyway, these are modded sails. These are part of the mod set on Radioactive Server. And um, yeah, we just got to launch the ship and name it now. Um, and yes, I did paint the entire thing with two paintbrushes. It took me ages. But, um, you know, I wanted to get it painted before I launched it. I think it adds to the build a lot. Um, people have said before that some of the things I've done look pretty cool. And in my opinion, they look better than they actually are because I paint stuff and I take my time with detail and that. And, you know, like people, you know, the classic line, you know, the um, it's all in the detail. Um, and that's literally why I think some of the stuff I do looks alright. Um, I'm not particularly that good of a builder, to be honest with you. But the um, the paint does a lot for me. <laughs> so yeah, we've gone with black and red. Got the doors in now as well. And you can go down into the cabin. We've got a bit of storage. We've got the larder. We've got a large storage. Got a bookshelf. Again, you can do what you want down here. You don't have to copy me. You don't have to leave me a comment telling me this is too heavy. Do what you want. This is just what I like to do. I like to have a bookshelf. I like to keep things organised. I like to be able to dump all my maps, my blueprints that I collect while I'm out and about in my bookshelf. So when I get back to base, I can whip them out and chuck them in the bookshelf in the base. I'm not going through my storage trying to pick out things that I want to take out and things I want to leave. Everything in that bookshelf comes out, goes into storage in the base. This will be for armour, weapons, that kind of thing. Other... Um, uh, maybe a few other bits and pieces. This will be for armour or whatever. Just got two bits of storage to keep things a little bit organised, make things easy to find. Obviously we've got an ammo chest ready for when we get the cannons on. Still got to build them yet. Obviously your resource box, your smithy and a bed. Um, I'd say the only thing that's essential on the ship is a bed and a resource box. And if you've got cannons, and ammo. Everything else is whether or not you want it. Um, I like to have a cabin on a ship. I like to have this stuff in here. I like it to feel like an actual cabin. That's why I do it like that. Then we come out into the deck. We'll have the cannons out here. Yes, they'll be a little bit exposed, but I think this little ceiling set of ceilings here will give them a little bit of cover. And I'm not too bothered. I'm not going to be going out my way to go into the PvP zone or anything like that with this ship. Um, this is mainly going to be for exploring the PvE regions and getting me going at the start of the game. It's a starting ship, guys. That is what this build is all about. It's a, a bit of an all-rounder. Um, I like this look. That's another reason why I've got the like uh, open deck above me. But yeah, when the cannons go in, they all do fit lovely in here. And you'll have eight cannons, four each side. And again, like we said earlier, we'll have two at the back there. And then we've just got this little bit of deck at the front. I just left this in. Obviously, this part is part of the deck. It's not a ceiling. And I just put the railings around it for my own little thing. I just like the look of it. Um, so, yeah, there we go, guys. Let's launch it, I guess. The Crimson Wave. Just thought that off the top of my head. That's a pretty cool name, actually. I like that. Crimson Wave. There we go. There we go, guys. 
Really, really like them sails. They look wicked. Wow. I'm really happy with that, actually. You know? Look at it. Awesome. So, yeah. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the build. Let me know what you think, like I said earlier, in the comments below. And uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.